Okay, 2014 Nissan Altima. Customer complaint is ABS and traction light is on. Scan the vehicle co uh, for codes, and this is what we got for right rear. So, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna compare with the left rear to right rear, because left rear is not faulting for it, so this one I know what, what are my expected voltages and what is my expected signal is. So let's go on the left rear sensor first, and let me fire up my scope here. See if I can find my light. Okay, I see it. All right, so. So this is my left rear um, connector or ABS sensor. I'm not gonna check power because left rear has, um, it's not faulting for us. So I'm guessing power is good. Pretty much safe to say power is good. So my uh, uh, signal wire is a brown wire. On the wiring diagram it says brown. Uh, on the wiring schematic it says otherwise, but when you're physically looking at it, my uh, brown wire should be signal wire but if if i go to connector over here and grab a light the connector over here it does have right wiring cord uh, color combination uh green green brown yellow and light blue but the the mess up part is this connector right there it switches the wire color on me so kind of took a little bit to figure out what's going on with it which was my which is my power wire which is my signal wire so I was able to figure out so my brown wire over here on this side of the harness it's my signal wire I wish I can show you guys a better view. Okay, you can see brown and light blue. So my brown wire is signal wire. Which is supposed to be on that harness that I showed you earlier. The signal wire should be light green. Yes, light green not brown so like i said uh gotta be careful what you're doing just double triple check everything so got that i'm on the signal wire and let me show you my scope on my scope this is what we're looking at uh change the voltage to one volt and 500 millisecond my time base okay show you what the signal looks like now I'm gonna spin the wheel this is what the signal looks like it's a digital waveform okay let's pause it and measure the voltages Yeah, let me pull it up hang on okay so over here i started to rotate the slower it goes the width of this signal is widens up the faster it spins that upper uh, the signal gets thinner and thinner like skinnier skinnier that's where i'm at so let's measure the voltage see what we're looking at and get my cursor one so it's cursor two Nope, cursor one, let me move my cursor two. Okay, so my cursor one, so it starts off with 100 millivolt. And let's look at my cursor number two, which is, I'm measuring that. It goes all the way to almost 207, 270 millivolt. So it's a very, voltage wise, very small signal. So if, if your scope or your multimeter, your multimeter should be able to pick it up. 
but I'm not sure uh, as far as the speed goes it, it may average it so you need scope for that so let me let me change this let me unpause this and let me increase the voltage to let's just say 5 volts you won't be able to see signal you would barely see signal so let me rotate the wheel see right there so once again it's the left rear which is a good known so let's go to right rear and do the same measurement so let me set it up Okay, I'm tapped into the yellow wire, which is my my sensor power wire, and let's look up uh, look at the scope. See what it looks like. It should be 12 volt power. Let me fix that because I cannot see. Okay, as you can see on the scope, I'm at 20 volt scale. Lost the connection. Let me fix that up. There. Come on. Okay, so it's 12. You can see it's 1290. That's my pow uh, power wire to the sensor. Technically, it should be the blue wire, not the yellow. But again, like I said, this this harness over here let me get the light this harness over here that's for wiring that diagram up to here it's fine but from when it branches off from from uh, this side of the connector it completely flip-flops the wire color so once again be careful what we testing right so got good power let's test the signal wire so let me set that up okay I'm connected with the a back probe the light green wire that's my signal wire and got nothing as you can see and I'm spinning the wheel right now absolutely nothing so let's go to wiring diagram. I want to show you guys what I meant. Okay, so that's a Nissan wiring diagram. I meant right rear. So as I was saying, yellow, yellow is my should be power wire. Let me let me uh, let me go back. So my blue wire should be power as you can see it says DP I'm not sure what DP means I'm assuming digital power right rear sensor so the power goes to light blue wire and see it changes the color so that's how I noticed why the wires were flip-flop but yes so I do have good power and that green wire which should be our yellow wire that's a signal wire if you follow this it says DS I'm assuming it says digital signal right rear. So as we saw on the scope, nothing was coming out of it. And if we were to compare with the, um, let me uncheck this. Check that. Okay. So my brown wire supposed to be, my brown wire should be power wire, right? But we didn't see that it was, let me see um, left right okay so if you look at the DS digital sensor or digital signal left right rear left light green that should be my signal wire not power wire as we saw in the um, in the beginning that it was the other way around right and my light green wire which is brown it should be power right digital power rear left so my brown should be should be power and the light green should be signal and which we had a right but over here the the connectors are flip-flop uh, the colors are 
right? As you can see over here. So it's, it's kind of going off of the colors. It's not enough. You gotta double check your colors and all that good stuff. Once again, uh, my brown wire should be power wire, not signal, right? And uh, on the car physically, when we're looking at it, was the other way around. Yeah, I thought I'd make a video of it. So, yeah, it's gonna need a right rear sensor. Unfortunately, it's not part of the bearing. So, sensor is uh, different than bearing. So. Yeah, this is it.